Hello, my name is Fazila Gopalani and I'm the Head of Education for ATCA for the Middle East. Welcome to our vlog on exam tips and techniques for session computer-based exams. So, as you're aware, there are three sections in your exam. Section A and B, which consist of objective test questions. Those questions are worth two marks. And then section C has the constructed response questions. Now, as for section A and B, there are seven different styles of questions that you're going to receive. You could get multiple choice questions, multiple response, fill in the blank, drag and drop, drop down menu, hot spot and hot area. Have you practiced enough of these questions on the platform? And if you haven't, you need to practice. Practice, 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 because practice makes perfect. There are no partial marks available, which means it is zero or two marks. You can't get half a mark or one mark in section A or B. Section C, the constructed response workspace. That's where you're going to use spreadsheet and word processing tools. Now, remember, if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. You have 1.8 minutes per mark. There would be a clock, a timer on the right-hand side corner of your screen that would be counting down. So what do you need to do? Give each question the time it deserves and not a minute more. So if you're doing a 20 mark question, you need to do 20 times 1.8, which is 36 minutes, and only spend 36 minutes on that question. Now you need to be aware that there are amazing functionalities with spreadsheet tools that are going to save you so much time in the exam. The markers who will be marking your exam will be able to see the formulas that you have put in to the cells. So ensure that you are not using your calculator to calculate this because they're not telepathic. They won't be able to see what formula you use. And as you know, in ACCA exams, you get method marks. So it doesn't matter if the number was wrong. If you have used the correct formulas and the correct methods, that's what you're going to get marks for. So please ensure you insert the formulas into the cell because the markers will be able to see that. The time you are going to save is phenomenal because if there is similar formulas, all you have to do is copy paste and change a few numbers. Please ensure that when you present your answer on a spreadsheet, you are presenting in a vertical format, not a horizontal format. Now we have a great navigation toolbar. You don't have to do questions in the order that they appear in the exam. Section A and then section B and section C. You can start with section C. You can start with section A and if you don't like question 5 or 9, flag it up for review. Come back to it later. Don't get stuck in the mud. Keep moving on in your exam. Be careful, there's a reset button. You don't want to be pressing that button because if you do, a window will come up and it will ask you one more time, are you sure you want to reset? And if you press yes, your whole question will disappear that you've done. So please ensure you only press the reset button if you do really want to reset and have a clean sheet of paper. There is a screen splitter separating the question on the left and the workspace on the right. You can move this, the toolbar, the grey screen splitter and make the question smaller once you've read it. In the real exam you even have a highlighter and strike through available which means that typical accountants, what do we do? We do like ticking the numbers we've used or highlighting them. And those functionalities are available in these ACCA computer-based exams. So, I will end with practice, practice, practice. Practice spreadsheet tools, practice your word processing tools, because if you practice, that's how you're going to get better for your exam. Best of luck.